Hi, I'm Mark Holden. I'm the Worldwide Strategy and Planning Director, PhD. Well, probably the most sophisticated and most um, uh, causally powerful technology to emerge over the last five years probably isn't a technology that we necessarily would think of as being a technology because um, it's actually something more nascent, and that is social media. Social media really is the most phenomenal um, uh, societal changing uh, technology that we've ever seen. The way it's connected people together and allowed information and therefore influence to flow between people really is kept, it really should be keeping and, and is starting to keep marketing directors up uh, at night. Um, we'll see if quite a lot of changes over the next five years. Um, TV is going to really start to see some big shifts um, with connected TVs, uh, socially enabled TVs, with potentially embedded layers of content over the top of the TV screen that allows you to tap on your second device and actually drag information out about that device, that product, um, and actually therefore find out more information, spread it through social networks, or even buy it there and then. So TV is going to have a, rad a radical uplifting in terms of its potential for marketeers, uh, beyond what it can already do. Um, but social media is also going to evolve. Social media will start to, start to change. Social media's effect will basically start to penetrate the internet. The internet will be socially enabled. So when you go to websites, those websites will be socially enabled. They'll, they'll be changed based on you, your interest graph, um, and they'll have your social graph embedded in the, the website. So go to a website, you see photographs of your social network actually in that website, as long as you've opted in. Or you hear music that you like on Spotify, colouring your uh, website experiences or even retail experiences that you go to. Well, privacy is important to, um, to separate the two issues. One is real concern for privacy. The second one is, is the, um, the amount of noise you get about privacy. And actually, the, 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 you need to disconnect them. So the amount of concern, the amount of noise there's been for privacy will probably continue, and probably continue at a similar rate. Um, but con real concern will probably start to drop off because generally people can't remain in a state of anxiety about anything in perpetuity. After a while, you just become not, it becomes more normalised. People just get used to it. But also see the resulting benefits. So people seeing tailored experiences, uh, or even getting um, benefits of privacy trading, so getting free Wi-Fi or getting free access to content. Um, there'll, be, there'll be real benefits, or even benefits like being part of a well-branded group of individuals by allowing yourself to share data and getting benefits for the group. Certain techniques that will be used will allow people to get over uh, a fear of, 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 of privacy. Um, and of course, you know, there's a difference between privacy of actually, you know, your bank details versus, you know, your behaviour online. Um, and I think it's important to realise that the latter of those two is something that's been used to our own advantage. Mm. Uh, the new technology is going to make a big difference to how agencies work. Um, creative work, which we, when we sit there and we decide which creative work we think is best, that's going to change. The core idea will still, will still be created, and that's going to be a very important part of you know, human invention to create campaigns that have amazing, amazing sort of uh, quality in the idea. But how those ideas are executed in different ways across many different channels, across many different audiences, across many different day parts, in a sequential order, will, will be optimised by algorithms. So creative people at the executional end and media buyers at the executional end will, will be helped by algorithms because ultimately the computation to, to work out what the best combination of all the different assets and audiences together is too vast for any human brain to cope with. So algorithms are going to start to, to change the creative and media agency. It's quite likely the media agency will be at the front line of creative execution. We're managing a lot of the creative versioning on the fly. If you're starting out now, um, you really want to start thinking about how you can become you know, Malcolm Gladwell's expression, you know, it takes uh, 10,000 hours to become you know, an expert or savant. Mm -hmm. So think about what you can do to position yourself so you get 10,000 hours worth of experience on understanding how to manipulate social. How can you basically sway and steer positive um, comment? Um, what ideas can you come up with from a creative perspective? How can you make those ideas social, social by design and socially enabled so they propagate out? And when you do get a propagation effect, how can you steer it and shape it? If you become an expert in that, you'll be the superstar of 2016.